Welcome to Roman Aqueducts. Water management was taken seriously by the Romans. Cyrenaica benefited greatly from Roman administration with the construction of aqueducts and canals. The source of water varied depending on the location. Many aqueducts were built at the foot of the mountains, offering greater flow from the melting snow. The ability to transport water over a greater distance increased agricultural production. Some aqueducts were reported to be over seven kilometers in length. Where the Greeks of Libya originally focused mainly on olive trees and figs, which required less water, the advent of Roman aqueducts allowed for a far greater crop diversity. Every farm's water use was carefully scheduled. engineering methods used to create aqueducts were constantly reviewed with a clear focus on exploiting the local environment. Materials, water usage, cleaning regulations, and a deep understanding of how to exploit gravity itself were all important concerns. Several fortresses were built to protect the aqueducts, basins, and cisterns. Additional water was collected with wells and cisterns, but aqueducts were the main supply of fresh water. The water was distributed based on the collective needs of the city before the private needs of an individual. Almost all aqueducts ended in a fountain where the water circulated to clean the streets and supply bathhouses and latrines, thus improving the cleanliness of Cyrenaica's cities. Mm -hmm. 